Hello, this is Hans van der Quast, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. In a previous video I have demonstrated how to use an existing river network to burn into a digital elevation model in order to have the water following the real hydrography in a study area. That method used uh, the r.garf function from uh, GRASS from the processing toolbox. Although that works fine, it's also good to know how you can easily do it yourself by applying uh, map algebra functions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, using the raster calculator and other map algebra tools based on a method described by uh, Case Wesseling, Willem van Deurs, and Marcel de Witt that have applied that in the PC raster language for the Rhine Basin. So we start with the uh, SRTM DEM styled here with the uh, hillshade and um, we use the Ruhr River from OpenStreetMap. The first thing we need to do is to rasterize this river. So in the processing toolbox we look for rasterize and we find this rasterize function and uh, we fill in the form. We burn a value of 1 for where the river is. We use georeferenced units and make sure that it has the same dimensions as the DEM. Otherwise it's not going to work. So 30 by 30 meters and we choose the extent from the DEM. Because it's a Boolean map with only uh, once in this case we use the byte output data type and uh, we save the rasterized file to rule rasterized.tiff and then we run it. And uh, there it is. Drag it to the top. And we can now style it. It's a palleted unique values because it's a boolean with only ones in it, as we can see. We make them blue. So now the river is uh, blue. And if I remove the river on top, then we see now it follows uh, the original vector, but then uh, one pixel wide. The next step is to get the zero values back in because we are going to need that in the equation. So we use the reclassify values function from Saga. It's a little bit of a trick to uh, get the zeros back in. So make sure you choose the rule rasterized. As a method we choose simple table. And we fill in the lookup table that the ones just stay one and we put that uh, operator on uh, option number one and we're gonna replace the no data values with zero and we keep the rest as it is so the ones will be one and the no data will be zero and then we save the reclassified grid And we run it. Click close. And there we see it. Let's style it. I find it good practice to style to uh, make sure that you made the right calculation. You can find that by visualizing it. Make the ones blue and the zeros red. The idea is to make a normalized DEM, therefore we need to know the statistics, the minimum and maximum values of the DEM. So in the toolbox we choose the raster layer statistics function, choose the DEM, we can keep it as a temporary file, and this will generate an HTML file. If we click the link it will open in your browser, and we see there the minimum and maximum value of the raster of the DEM. We make a note of those values. Now we are ready to calculate the standardized DEM. So we go to the raster calculator and we create this equation using the minimum and maximum value of the raster. And we save it. Let's call it stddem.tiff. We do OK and there's our standardized digital elevation model with values between 0 and 1. Now we have the standardized uh, DEM we can uh, burn the river in it. So we simply subtract 
the rasterized boolean river that we created before so where the river is what value of one will be subtracted and where there's no river uh, it will remain what it was so the river will always be deeper and there we go this is then the burn dem and then the final step is to multiply the original dem with this standardized dem and in that way we have corrected the dm values with the ones that are uh, burned by the river and uh, there it is so let's style it to see what the result is let's choose single band pseudo color it's continuous data and we choose uh, cpt city elevation and there we are we need to change the stretching of the colors uh, updated canvas and there we see that indeed the river is uh, deeper than the environment around it which will make the water flow to the river so with this you can continue the steps for uh, filling the dem and uh, the other steps needed for catchment delineation as explained in the other videos i hope this was useful and uh, that it improves the delineation of uh, catchments.